For many years, philosophers, medical practitioners, and psychologists have all studied and tried to explain people's temperaments by examining their elements. Carl Jung, for example, created a personality test that focuses on the four areas of introversion versus extroversion, intuition versus sensation, thinking versus feeling, and perceiving versus judging. His typology test resembles the four soul elements, fire, air, water, and earth. Although astrology has a bad rep for being hocus-pocus because it cannot be scientifically proven, its principles still prove to hold value to this day when it's mentioned in journalism, used on dating apps, or explored by many all in good fun. The four soul elements have distinct traits and qualities that make each of them unique. Whether you are fire, air, water, or earth, we hope that you recognize the strengths and talents you possess and use them to guide you on your life's journey. Let's start with fire. Fire is an energy that is positive, masculine, active, extroverted, self-expressive, and yang. This element is associated with inspiration, action, enthusiasm, passion, vitality, courage, spontaneity, will, faith, and possibility. People with the fire element are direct, forceful, and exuberant. Consider them the life of the party. Everywhere they go, they carry sparks of joy that light a smile on others. Self-motivated and brave, they embrace life's challenges and rush forward. Fire people are constantly on the go and seek exciting adventures. They can be blunt, impatient, brash, and reckless. If they aren't careful, they can easily burn themselves out. As fire people mature, they will learn how to pace themselves better and be considerate of how their words and actions affect others. Ultimately, they are the great risk takers who create amazing possibilities for the world. Next, we have air. Just like fire, air is an energy that is also positive, masculine, active, extroverted, self-expressive, and yang. This element is associated with thinking, relating, logic, communication, concepts, curiosity, objectivity, sociability, and abstract reasoning. People with an air element are clever, witty, broad-minded, and intellectual. They are the mad scientists who come up with many theories and the language weavers who can connect ideas, concepts, and stories together. Their minds move quickly, and they are great at problem solving. If they aren't careful, they might overthink and overload their nervous system. They can also be suave talkers, but may not always use actions to back up their promises. This can make them seem flighty and impractical. As air people mature, they will become less detached and learn to embrace their emotions more. Meditation is a great way for them to keep their mind still to prevent it from going in overdrive. Overall, they make some of the best thinkers who keeps the world awake and alert with interesting ideas. Then we have water. Water is an energy that is negative, feminine, passive, introverted, self-containing, and yin. To clarify, the terms negative and passive do not mean anything bad. Rather, the words are similar to the ends of a battery, plus and negative. Both are essential for functioning. This element is associated with emotions, sensitivity, intuition, subjectivity, compassion, flexibility, and imagination. People with the water element are empathetic, insightful, creative, artistic, and reflective. They tend to make great friends, therapists, and listeners. Known for their depth and giving nature, they offer great advice and always lend a helping hand. If they aren't careful, they may overextend themselves and drown in their pool of emotions. As water people mature, they learn to let go of their fears, pains, and grudges, and become resilient during tough times. Overall, they are the healers who remind us about the importance of vulnerability. Last but not least, we have Earth. Similar to water, Earth is an energy that is negative, feminine, passive, introverted, self-containing, and yin. This element is associated with practicality, solidity, utility, tangibility, concrete thinking, groundedness, and stability. People with an earth element are patient, self-disciplined, diligent, and hardworking. They instill the world with routine, order, and regulations. People with this element are also a big believer of tradition and are cautious and conservative. Skillful at organizing and creating structure, they tend to make managerial geniuses. If they aren't careful, they can be controlling, overly stubborn, and set in their ways. As earth people mature, they learn to take more risks and become more open to new ideas. Overall, they are the builders who work hard to make sure the world is a safe place to live in. We hope that this video helped you discover more exciting things about yourself. What soul element do you identify with? Take our quiz here and share your results with us below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. Thanks for watching!
Hey everybody, I just want to give a personal thank you video for you guys for always supporting Psych2Go and making this all possible for us. Our vision is to make psychology as accessible as possible so that it promotes self-awareness and it helps you guys grow. However, we want to make more content for you guys and would love your support in buying one of these bracelets from our partner, Introvert Palace. Check out the bracelet, it's pretty cool and it even includes Pluto. The link to purchase will all be in the description below and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye!